let us solve another interesting question this says in this figure pq is parallel to rs and uh, angle pab this is the one it is given to be 70 degrees angle acs is 100 degrees we need to determine angle abc that is we can label this as angle 1 angle bac let us mark this as angle 2 and angle caq caq let us mark this as angle 3 right so first of all we will be writing down what is given and what we have to find so we'll write down given pq is parallel to rs angle pab is 70 degrees angle acs is 100 degrees and we need to find now as per the given figure we can write here angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 right so let us see how we can do this now observe the figure carefully he, we, we take uh, lines pq and rs which are parallel and we consider ab as the transversal right so first thing is we will be writing here consider pq parallel to rs and ab is transversal now observe what is the relationship between angle 1 and angle p a b yes you are right they are making a pair of alternate interior angles so we write here angle 1 is equal to angle p a b alternate interior angles and we know that when two parallel lines they are intersected by a transversal alternate interior angles are equal so angle 1 will be equal to 70 degrees so you have found the value of angle 1 now coming to angle 2 now observe carefully here i am shading this angle 2 along with this 70 degrees uh, let us uh, mark this complete so we are considering PQ parallel to RS again and here AC is transversal. AC is transversal. Can you tell me a relationship between angle ACS and angle CAP? Very good. Angle ACS will be equal to angle CAP. Because again you see that they are making alternate interior angles. So we are using the same result. When two parallel lines they are cut by a transversal. Then alternate interior angles are equal. Now what is the measure of angle ACS? That is 100, 100 degrees. So 100 degrees will be equal to angle CAP. Observe angle CAP. It is made up of two parts now. So, this is equal to 70 degree plus angle 2. Can you find angle 2 from here? Yes, of course. So, what will be angle 2? 100 degrees minus 70 degrees. So, that gives us 30 degrees. So, we have found angle 2. Okay. Now, tell me how you are going to find angle 3. Yes, there can be different ways of solving this question. You can take 70 plus angle 2 plus angle 3. They are, you know, all the angles, they are on the straight lines. So, their sum will be equal to 180. That's one way of solving it. Another can be, you take PQ parallel to RS and ACS transversal. And you notice that 100 degrees plus angle 3, that will be 180. Yes, what's the reason for that? Yes, you are right. They are making co-interior angles and co-interior angles are supplementary. So, here we can say that 100 degrees plus angle 3 
is 180 degrees. So they are making co-interior angles and we know that co-interior angles are supplementary. So supplementary angles, their sum is 180 degrees. So what is angle 3 now? Good, angle 3 is 180 minus 100. So that gives you 80 degrees. Isn't it a beautiful question?